Hi God's people. My name is China and um, I'm an Israelite. I am a Jew by blood and I'm an Israelite by blood and an Israelite by spirit as well. Um, I have started, I'm trying to start a new series. I don't know what I'm doing. I just told God that I was going to start. So I'm starting right now. I'm scared. I'm nervous. I have anxiety and it's really bothering me even though I'm here in this room by myself because I know I'm gonna post this but I'm ready to do what the Lord calls for me to do even though it makes me highly uncomfortable so um I was talking to him in my prayers last night and uh I told him I brought up the whole you know YouTube channel doing videos for God and um uh, As we were talking in my prayer, I accidentally said, I'll start tomorrow. And before I realized I was saying that, I tried to say, wait, no, I didn't say that. But I said it after I said it. And once words are like a rock, once you throw them, you can't take them back. And I made a vow. So I'm starting today. And since I don't really know what I'm doing and I'm trying to put things together, I guess I just start with a testimony. Um, so I have a testimony of what happened to me when I was about 21 years old and when I was still in college. Um, and it's powerful. Okay. So, um, when I was in college, we used to hang out with like this group of kids and we would like go to the park and we'll smoke weed and like, this was a really cool big park. It had animals in there. So you couldn't, you weren't allowed to be in there after night, but we were in there anyway, <laughs> smoking weed, getting high, running around, being stupid. And one night, uh, the cops came and we had hella weed on us because uh, we was actually dealing at the time. That's a whole nother story. But um, long story short, um, the my man ran off. Uh, I couldn't run with him because I had on flip-flops. That was very dumb of me. Um, and then um, some other people ran off too. And then basically the cops, long story short, the cops pinned everything on me. They said that I was the mastermind behind this me. And so they let everyone, they end up arresting my best friend and her husband. Uh, my uh, husband got away and they let, the other like 10 people with us just go. They told them, go ahead and go back home or we're going to arrest you. So then, you know, one of the person, one of the people in the group was like, well, what about China? You know, we're not leaving China. And they say, you want to get arrested? So yeah, right. Fishy, right? So they made all of them leave and they left. And, and, you know, see, they weren't my friends, honestly, because I would not have left me, you know, especially with some shake, some weird ass, racist ass cops and then you see everything going on right now but anyway that's a whole nother story so they left me and i'm sitting there talking to them like uh why are you making everybody leave me like are y'all about to arrest me because y'all ain't got nothing to arrest me y'all i know my rights you know they try to pin that shit on me that shit ain't on me sorry i'm cussing i gotta work on that but anyway so um long story short they wait till they they leave like they wait a couple minutes like they wait like they made me wait like 10 minutes while everybody else is gone and then they're like now walk back now mind you it's like two three in the morning no it ain't, it ain't no three in the morning but it's like one two in the morning and this is my first time at this park it's animals in this park i'm like uh walk back what do you mean walk back and they're like walk back on top of that looked at my phone my phone's like on three percent i'm like uh my phone's only on like three percent it's about to die uh what if i need to call y'all like something happened it is like you know in the middle of the night it's late in the early morning like hello and they literally did this like it was a setup we gonna get to that so i'm sitting there getting nervous i'm sitting there getting scared like oh my god like you know, it's two in the morning. I'm in the middle of this big ass part. Um, they just made the whole group of people leave me. My man left me. 
And now they're telling me to walk back through this park by myself to the car. So, um, I do that. Um, I, I just, hey, how I am, if, if nothing can change about the situation, I'm not going to waste time complaining and just going to deal with it. So I'm like, whatever. I see them all. It's like two or three cop cars. They all pile up in their car. Actually, no, they don't pile up in the car. They told me to start walking unless I want to get arrested. So I start walking. And um, I'm walking. I keep looking back. And then finally, my phone dies. So I look back, and they're all just sitting on their cars, just looking at me. And I said, my phone died. And he was like, did it again. Like, tough luck. So they all piled up in their cars, and they left. Now, at this point, I'm terrified because... There's nobody in the park but me. The police left. My friends left. It's nothing but animals, darkness, woods. Like, you can imagine. So, I start walking. And I start hearing footsteps behind me. And I, I don't know why, but I just started thinking, it's like a homeless man he about to kill me. He's about to rape me. Like, nobody's ever going to hear from me again. Anybody going to find out what happened to me till later. And they come searching this park. And the cops going to get away with it. So, I start falling. I start crying. And I'm like, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. But I haven't even, I really haven't called on Jesus yet. Because, honestly, at this time, I had denounced Jesus. I denounced Jesus Christ. And... I was into like that African spirituality stuff. Uh, I was so lost, so confused, thinking I knew things. I didn't know nothing. So I denounced Jesus Christ. So I didn't call on him. I was just scared. And I'm still hearing these footsteps. I keep turning around. Nobody's there. But I'm hearing like leaves crunching. I'm hearing branches crunching. So um, I keep walking. And then I hear hide. I literally hear hide. So I don't know, I don't know why, but it was like I felt like this rush, like you need to do it now. Like stop contemplating, do it now. So I jump behind this bush. And as I jump behind this bush, it's like this big truck. I don't I don't remember what color it was. I wanna say white though. But it was a big we're gonna say white. It was a big white truck coming through slowly. Like, the truck was creeping. So, um, you know, I'm thinking, you know, maybe it's like some people like us. This is a college town. You know, maybe it's some people like us trying to be, you know, in the woods, being high, you know, being stupid. Um, so I was like, okay, whatever. So they went by. I come back out of the bushes. I'm walking back down again, trying to find my way back down to the car. I start hearing these footsteps again. I turn around. I'm getting scared, like... I'm not tripping. Like, I hear these footsteps behind me. Then I hear hide again. So, I jump back into the bushes. I hide again. It's that same truck. It's that same truck coming back this way. And it's creeping. So... The whole time I'm walking down, like, okay, so this park is a huge park. It has animals like buffaloes and stuff in cage. Like, it's crazy. And so I'm walking down, like, the trail you have to walk down through this park to get to the car is about, like, a 30-minute trail. Like, it ain't no short, it is not a short walk at all, especially at night and you don't know where you're going. That's your first time there. So, and you have no phone. You have no phone. So, at this point, I'm, like, bawling because I'm terrified. I keep hearing footsteps behind me. And now I keep seeing this truck coming by. Like they're looking for me. Um, so the truck comes by multiple times. Like, I don't even know how many, but it was definitely over five times. And every time, every time that truck was about to come, I heard hide. 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 And every time I hid, every single time I hid, that truck crept by. So I started 
calling on Jesus. Now, this is the time I had denounced him. I was in African spirituality, but my heart knew what to do because my spirit knew what to do. My soul knew what to do, even though my flesh was on some stupid shit because I was young and dumb at that time and lost and thinking I know more than what I know. I don't know shit. So um, I start calling on Jesus and I'm like, Jesus, walk with me. Jesus, walk with me. Please walk with me. And I start hearing these footsteps louder. And I turn around because I'm like, oh, this is really the homeless person. Now he really about to get me now. It's over. Nobody's there. <laughs> it's like it just it clicked to me right then and there. It was Jesus walking with me. He was walking with me or the Holy Spirit walking with me, protecting me. That was who was telling me, hide, hide, hide every time that truck came by. Long story short, he did that the whole way through the park. And I end up finally getting to my car. I get in the car, I go back to campus. They all at a party, chilling, having fun. I'm like, y'all don't know what I just went through in my life. But anyway, so I'm bawling. I'm telling them all what happened. You know, they don't really care. College kids don't care about shit like that. I told my mama what happened. Mama called up to the police station the next day, cussing them out, talking about if anything would have happened to me. She would have sued all of them. But the big message here is I had denounced Jesus Christ. And he was still there. He was still there when I didn't even know it was him at first. Like It took me a minute to kind of grasp and figure it out. Like, oh, wait, this is Jesus. And you know, the crazy thing about that is I didn't like, I was still kind of lost after that situation. And it's so, so shameful to admit that, but I was still lost for a little bit after that situation. I didn't really come to Jesus until a few years later, but that's a, that's a story for another time. But that's my testimony. And uh, that's all I have to say right now. Um, I don't know if that's enough. I don't, I don't know if anybody got anything out of that. But I told God, I made a vow that I was going to start tomorrow and I can't go back on that because I said it. So I'm starting right now, you know, after work, no makeup, look a little rough and all because I don't care. Like I'm not breaking my vow to God. So expect more videos like this. Well, not like necessarily like this. I'm going to start putting stuff together. I'm going to start, uh, you know, I'm going to have more structure to it. But I just want to say... This is my first video and I'm finally ready to do God's will and not what I want, even though this is making me highly uncomfortable.